just getting over being sick um so last week i didn't even record i didn't even make it into the salon because i was sick and i barely have had time to rest i'm pretty sure you can hear it in my voice i still got some mucus up in there but um it's been a crazy week i've mentioned before that i am getting ready to move and my house is getting packed up and I'm, you know, I'm getting, we just got a property manager to find someone to get in the house, you know, rent it out. And uh, so all of that has just, just happened right after I sit, right after I was sick. And it's like, I haven't even been able to rest. First of all, the pack out was supposed to be done next week while I was in Cali. I was trying to avoid all of this. I do not I, I don't want to do it. It's just not fun. So we have already started the process of packing out. Actually the our property managers came and took pictures two days ago and 24 hours we had somebody wanting to see it but they want to see it today and today is the pack out. And so, my husband and I was like, I mean, they can come, but it's not going to be, like, pretty and looking cute because there's going to be people walking around here packing stuff up. In just a few hours, they should be pulling up here soon. So, and I'm supposed to go to work today. Like I said, I, had, I didn't go last week because I wasn't feeling well. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go today because I don't want to do it with the pack out. I don't, I'm a nice person, but I'm an introvert. So strangers walking around my house, it's just really not my vibe. <laughs> I just cannot, but as you can see, everything is gone. Like all my pictures, everything on my desk, everything is gone. Everything is gone. Gel polish is gone. So these big old, Things that don't match is me and my husband try to, you know, cover up the holes. We covered up the holes. That was successful. And then we sprayed some stuff on there because it's textured wall. So it, may, it gives it back its texture. And we got the right color. But it's not the right finish. It's supposed to be flat. But whatever cheap... Uh, paint they put on our walls but it's very cheap it, i mean like you hit it the wrong way and it, it'll come off <laughs> and it's not stain resistant and it's just a mess so we thought we got the right thing flat same color no so it's it's a whole different color huh it's a mess it's so, but it's all good because our property managers are going to have this room repainted because it does look a mess. And we don't have to worry about paying for it. It will come out of first month's rent. And so basically our first month rent is going to be almost nothing because that's going to take care of any little things that needs to happen around the house. And also they get like a bigger cut from the first month. So yeah, that's what I have going on. I'm going to try to get some footage of, you know, the house getting packed out. Uh, this is kind of giving you like a, the military wife side. I'm, I mentioned before how trash it is, and it still is. But this is, you know, kind of like what it looks like. This is a pack out. That's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? They pack all that stuff out. They put it on a trailer, and then they take it up to where we're going, and which is Virginia. So... That's how everything goes. I have, there's a few things in here that cannot be packed. Gel polish is not allowed to be packed. And I have a bunch of that. Now, technically, I could sneak it in there. They wouldn't even know. But 
if it breaks and it's an item that's not allowed to be in there, they're not gonna reimburse me. So I'm not even gonna take the chance. I also packed up all my nail charms because I don't have, I can't get some of those back. I bought a lot of those nail charms from AliExpress. So some of them not even available anymore. And no, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not about to lose my charms. So I'm packing that my hypnotic nail sign i'm packing that and all of my acrylic stuff because that's not allowed to be on there as well acrylic that's not allowed um on humor that's not allowed so i'm going to be packing all of that with me as well but i was going to pack that anyway because i'm going to practice because after we move out of our house we're going to be staying with my mom for about two weeks well technically yeah two weeks i go to cali next week and then we'll be at my mom's house for two weeks and then me and my husband are gonna drive up to Virginia in two separate cars. It's a 10 hour drive. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I gotta get it over with. And I'll probably be getting footage of this whole process because it's, it's a mess. So right now I'm just basically waiting on the Packers to get here. But before I move on, I just kind of wanted to I don't know, kind of give like a quick, another render of what my channel is about. You know, you're seeing, you know, is my nail tech journey, but it's, it's much more than that. It's, um, I dealt with depression for a really long time due to my hearing loss and my experience in the Navy, childhood trauma too, all that mixed up in one. And the person that you're seeing in front of you it's a person who has been to therapy and is working through their shit and getting the courage to start a YouTube channel. I uh, began my nail tech journey, even at the season age of 29. And the overall scheme of my channel is to inspire anyone who may be going through things and they feel like they can't chase their dreams, but that's not true. You may not be able to chase them when you want to, but it does not mean you won't be able to go, you know, chase after your dreams forever. You know, life be life in. But <clears throat> unless you're not physically able to do what you desire to do, then, you know, you can still do it. You know, like if you want it to be a painter and you have no hands, then maybe you couldn't do it. But then again, I mean, some people be figuring it out, paint with their feet. And that's what I mean. Like, I ain't got no hands, so I'm just painting with my feet. I mean, it's possible. So, whatever obstacles that you have in your way is not a stop sign. It's not. Unless you aren't physically able to do it. If you aren't physically able to do it, then you will have to adjust your dreams. But if you are able body, then go for it, you know? obstacles not stop signs every whatever you're going through in your life it is an obstacles obstacles happen life be life -ing. but nine times out of ten you didn't get a stop sign so that is basically basically the overall of my channel is you being able to see after being you being able to see our you being able to see me go after my dreams after almost 10 years of being stuck in a depression. And depression ain't no joke. She a hoe, to be honest. <laughs> and you can't really necessarily get rid of it, but you can manage it. And in my experience, me going after the things that I desire has really helped my mental health. Point blank period. And that's just a fact. So that's just a little rundown. And if you are enjoying this content, please let me know, comment, subscribe. I feel like I'd never say this, but I'm just like going through the process. I don't know what I'm doing. Comment, subscribe, uh, like, all that stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube to support someone's channel. I don't know. I'm about to get ready and basically pack up my drawers. Pack up my drawers. Well, technically, the movers are going to pack them up. 
but I'm going to like give them an idea of how I need it to be packed. So all of that stuff in there, glitter and nail brushes don't go flying all over the place. So I'm about to do that and waiting for these movers to get here and hopefully I get some footage of that so you guys can see. I'm also going to get some footage of my house. It's a hot mess. Do not judge. It's getting packed up. It's getting packed up. But... I will check in with you guys later. my closet everything will be out of here should be out of here by the end of the day mm -hmm. okay period <laughs>
lies tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet no my eyes agree it's almost like when we first met oh i don't care it's getting too late i want you and i can't wait don't wanna spend a minute without you i know you feel the same so come on give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say Damn. And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me When I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say packed up but i need it to come to apple and exchange my watch i accidentally bought the series eight but without my lips look so dry thirsty <laughs> um i got the, the new apple watch the series eight but i accidentally got the one that doesn't have cellular cell, cellular i think i'm saying that right um so I'm going in there to switch that out. Honestly, I really don't want to go in Apple. It's it's only one Apple store in Jacksonville. <sighs> I guess my anxiety is kicking in. Like I hate going into stores. <laughs> I hate it so bad. Like I don't know why I hate going into stores. It could be because I'm hard of hearing. But also I'm an introvert. So it just makes it like ugh, I got to go talk to people. While I don't have a problem with talking to people, I just like when I go into stores. Okay, <laughs> when I go into stores, I like to be in and out. Um, I don't. That's the type of person that be in and out. And I don't want to walk around and see what y'all have to offer. I don't. So I'm gonna go in here and do that. Unfortunately. And drink some water because gosh <laughs>
the parts that are just this. Uh, so all I have right now are the sets like that come preset with a wash so band. So you don't have any of these? No, not that we don't have that wash band. We just don't have the one that's sold single like this. So okay. the way around, it would be for us to sell you one of the sets and then do a band swap. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, let's do a so we can do it. It's just, it's going to take us a minute. It's a and let's see, you have a small medium. Ma'am, there's no recording in the store. There's no recording in the store, so I have to ask you to turn it off. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> that was so stressful. My anxiety was going insane. <laughs> I'm like, and then the lady told me you can't record in the Apple Store. Well, why? I tried to Google it to see if it pop up, but it didn't pop up. So I don't know about it. That's my first time ever being in the Apple store. It was kind of strange to me. There's like no checkout. There's like no privacy. Like, <laughs> you're just checking out somebody there right here standing beside your shoulder. I bet I won't go into the Apple store ever again. My anxiety cannot handle that. <sighs> Social anxiety is just a beast that I just wish that I did not have to fight. Like, and then <laughs> if you have anxiety, you know I had anxiety work. So I'm walking out. I get my stuff. I get my stuff or whatever. And I pulled the door, and you got to push it. <laughs> so I just slid out because somebody else was walking through. And, yeah, it was just too much for me. Like, my social anxiety was going insane. And I guess that's why I don't like going in stores. I have pretty bad social anxiety. Like, I can feel myself, my heart rate, like, oh, my gosh, I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> but that's what I get for coming on a Friday. And I waited to the last minute. I only had a couple more days to return it. So... I had to get in there and I was having an Apple Watch that doesn't have cellular. What's the point? Okay. So I'm about to head back home. And they're probably not done packing up yet. So uh, I'm just ready for it to be over. And I am going into the salon today. And honestly, after being out sick yesterday, I missed it. Like, I enjoyed doing a pedicure. I mean, like, it's kind of funny to me how I, how much I enjoy being a nail tech. Like, I miss doing a pedicure. Even the smell of everything, it was just like, I miss being here. <laughs> but that's, that's the honest god truth i was happy to be there um and i just missed it i ended up setting up my desk because i'm going to be doing acrylics now not just pedicures so i with doing both <sighs> so i'm excited to get there and do nail tech stuff i love i love it like i feel so blessed to be able to work and make money for the thing that I'm passionate about. Like, that's just <sighs> priceless. Okay. And I absolutely thank Delora for my disabled veteran tag because, um, yeah, there's no parking here. <laughs> and thank goodness for this. Okay. Thank goodness for my disabled veteran tag. Thank you, government, for giving me a little something. Because this right here, this is a blessing. I know the old folks be like, why are you hopping out of the disabled veteran parking? Because yep. I serve my country, period. So, as I'm riding and thinking... <clears throat> so, I actually, before I pulled off, I ended up uh, Googling again if you could vlog in the apple store and guess what pops up a whole bunch of youtube videos of people vlogging in the apple store and so i just felt like that lady just said that just to say it and like she was just really on some caring stuff 
and it's just crazy like for what like what does that do for you i just don't understand how um people well i guess some white women feel the need to like i don't know I, 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 know, I don't know why people be on the care and stuff, but I just felt like that was what that was because I, at first, I've never, you know, recorded in a store. I know that's my first time being an Apple period. So I'm just like, okay, if they have that policy, whatever, that's not a problem. But now that I'm going, now that I Googled, uh, you know, if you could, and I see all these videos pop up on YouTube of people literally logging in the apple store and i just realized that she just was on some care and stuff like this stuff has to stop like it's so annoying like i can't just do me because a white woman has decided that i shouldn't be doing that what like stop it stop stop I do have social anxiety but being out and knowing that I already didn't want to go out in the first place and having to deal with the care and stuff like oh my god like this is exhausting <laughs> like I'm just I'm already out here struggling with social anxiety and then you gotta deal with people thinking God put them on this earth to create all the rules and delegate all the rules like what I just Uh, okay, that was my rant. I just had to get that off my chest because that was just really like annoying me. And I'm gonna text my best friend Jessica and tell her about it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that because this is just crazy. The world that we're operating in. Like, uh, <laughs> please let black women thrive without all the extra stuff. Okay, we have social anxiety. We don't need non-black women telling us what we can and cannot do unless i am legit breaking a law and if i'm not leave me the hell alone like simple as that leave me alone
in the video, you was like, yeah, I got two old ladies and they both live for me. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs>
as a whole. I'm not pointing any fingers. I mean, you talking to her? I'm not light skinned. I'm, I'm not either. I'm brown. What the heck? If y'all not light skinned, what am I? I? I'm not light skinned. I'm brown. I'm brown. I'm brown skinned. I feel like I'm brown skinned. Well, I'm between brown and light. Because That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel brown, then what am I? Like? <laughs> okay, there's light skinned and then there's brown. I'm some. Somewhere around your middle. So we're mocha. So if a white man comes, a white man walk in here right now with a, and say, Whoop, Oh, we all niggas. Dark skin people on that side, light skin people on that side. <laughs> Both of y'all are going to walk over there to the light skin. Or they're in the house with AC watching. You talking about Oh my God. <laughs> That's our dresser. Oh. You want to buy it? <laughs> you're in the, you're in the, get out the frame. Oh, I'm in the frame? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Luca. Oh my goodness. My baby looks just like his mommy. Ooh, I said Levi too. Mm hmm.
loud. All this stuff is all what? What? No. Ah! Where, where's the stuff? Let's go to your room. clean. Candy out your mouth. <laughs> How do you oh. find candy in an empty house? We're gonna have to find another house now. Brother, some fries, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's Luca fry. Okay. That's Luca fry. Okay. Yep. This week has been so long, but our house is now finally packed out. Hey, my wig crooked. Hold on. Let me see. Hold up. Oh, okay. So, um, it's been a very long week. I am so exhausted. Um, so this is our last night in this house. This is a wrap. And uh, Luca was born here. So it's kind of bittersweet to leave. Well, not bittersweet because it's still my house. <laughs> it's just going to get rented out. But uh, my family has, we grew in this house. We came to this house with just Levi. Now we're leaving with Levi and Luca. So it's just kind of surreal. And uh, this home really, it worked until they started getting bigger because we do not have a backyard. And so once they started getting bigger and not having a backyard, it's just like, oh, 
kind of grew out of this house once they started, you know, loving going outside. <sighs> but I'm going to miss this home. This was like our first home since me and my husband left Hawaii. We literally painted this wall right before Luca was born. And now we're leaving it all behind. <laughs> It's kind of sad, like I'm feeling some type of way, like I'm kind of in my feelings a little bit, but I'm also exhausted. So that could be a part of it as well. I'm getting ready to head to the airport. I am headed to Cali, I'm pretty sure that I have mentioned that already. I'm headed to Cali to uh, help my best friend. If you haven't seen my first week in a salon video, then definitely go and check that out. And you'll understand why I'm going to Cali. You'll understand. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just say it. I'm going to Cali to help my best friend. Uh, she, my godson was born the day that, uh, the first day I went to the salon. And I was literally, you know, getting footage while she was in labor. <laughs> so she was like texting me, you know. I think I'm in labor, blah, blah, blah. She really was in labor and she did have my godson that same day. And so now I'm flying out to Cali to uh, be a support system for my best friend and my godchildren and her husband. Uh, that's how we do. So my husband's getting ready to drop me off to the airport and we wanted to let the kids see the house empty you know this was their home this is all luca really known i mean levi too so we wanted them to you know see the house and kind of this is their first military move that they'll be able to remember well more so levi he'll be able to remember maybe a little bit i don't know <laughs> my memory goes back to three but that doesn't mean his memory is going to go back to three so we just wanted to show them, you know, like, your house is gone and we're moving. And then they're going to drop me off in the airport and I got to say goodbye to my babies for a week. But it's for a good cause. I get to spend time with my godchildren, meet my godson, and I will see you guys next time. And thank you so much for watching. Well, not you guys. It could just be one person watching this. So thank you. <laughs> you for watching and tuning in with me and following my nail tech journey and a little bit of my life here and there i'm about to be knocked out on this flight that's a fact because i am exhausted so bye bye